welcome to this week's vlog. Now over the series of vlogs I've been talking a lot about the cooperative learning model. Now cooperative learning as a model fits within the broader idea of a curriculum around a models based approach. So in this vlog I'm going to explore what a models based approach is, why it is perhaps important in the future for physical education, what models do and how a models based approach to the curriculum can promote the physically active life. Now doing this vlog will kind of contextualise future vlogs where I explore other models. Models that you might have heard of such as sport education, teaching games for understanding or teaching social, personal and social responsibility. So to start then, what is a models based approach? So a models based approach is a curriculum organised around different types of models. So, for example, cooperative learning is one model that might be used for the duration of a unit. As I've mentioned, we have other models such as sport education, teaching games for understanding, teaching personal social responsibility, and many more which can be seen. Now, I'd recommend Metzler's book for looking at the different types of models as an initial starting point. But what this means through a models-based approach is that a curriculum is organised around different learning themes and different primary learning outcomes. So, for example, in sport education, is, sport education is linked with sport and competition. Cooperative learning is linked with the th kind of big idea of cooperation, the theme of cooperation, and the emphasis on promoting social learning. Teaching games for understanding is focused on promoting tactical understanding. So what we do with the models is we focus on the theme and the primary kind of learning outcome. So why is a models based approach important? Now what a models based approach does is it challenges the traditional organisation of a curriculum. A curriculum organised through a multi-activity approach. So for example rather than um, having these themes or learning outcomes as the drivers for the curriculum. A curriculum is organised around activities. Six lessons of football, six lessons of netball, six lessons of hockey, six lessons of dance. Multiple activities in short lesson units. Now while this multi-activity approach was constructed and has sustained because it's based on the belief that if we are exposing students to a number of different types of physical activities they will find one that they enjoy for their lifetime. The multi-activity approach does not legitimately promote the physically active life. Indeed, the short duration units, they're often teaching and learning in the same way, such as a teacher-led approach, and the, the limited um, time for students to develop all hinders the promotion of the physically active life. Certainly, the focus is on content of an activity rather than the overarching learning experience it explores multiple domains, the physical, cognitive, social and affective. Moreover, within many pedagogical practices in the curriculum, whilst we might say that a particular unit is going to focus on social development, it is not the teaching and learning experiences is not always aligned. For example, students don't develop their social skills and interpersonal skills through just working as a team. They need to be working together to do tasks and developing those key interpersonal skills. So what does a model do? So each model, whether that's cooperative learning, sport education, teaching games for understanding, teaching personal social responsibility, health-based PE and many more, has its own unique features for teaching and learning. Now the key point for this is that to be able to meet the overarching outcome, so let's say we have teaching games for understanding and it's tactical understanding, we need to align the teaching and learning experiences with that outcome, basically to ensure it happens. So each model has its own design teaching and learning features. You might have heard these referred to as features, non-negotiables or elements. And what they do is they allow teachers by following these specific guidelines to meet the learning outcomes and to follow the intentions of the model. Now various different activities can be used within a model, it's not constrained to specific forms, but the duration is also a little bit longer. So within models we'd recommend that units last between 12 to 24 lessons. 
And so, for example, if we did a unit on cooperative learning, it then might be followed by, for example, sport education. So why does the models-based approach promote the physically active life or could promote the physically active life? Well, a models-based approach recognises the need for a number of different forms of physical education. The diverse range of outcomes, the, the different types of aims that we have in different contexts and different cultures means that the traditional one way of teaching students is not effective. That one way being through the multi-activity approach, a teacher-led approach with the primary focus on physical performance. If we're going to be able to promote the physically active life then we need different forms of physical education. We need to expose young children or, or adolescents to different, different experiences, different ways in which they can work together, work independently or in pairs to learn. Importantly, each model, as METSA suggests, is designed to promote physical, social, cognitive and effective learning outcomes. So with the idea about what a models-based approach does, what it is and how, it, how each model works, in future vlogs I hope to give you some context behind different types of models and perhaps how different models could be used. But today I'm going to leave you with the thought of if you was going to redesign your curriculum around a models-based approach and looking at these different overarching learning outcomes and themes on the diagram, what models would you put where, why and what would you need to do to develop a models-based curriculum? Comments are always welcomed and I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks.